Okay, today I'm really excited to share with you an unboxing. I received this box from ButcherBox.com and I have been really interested in learning about what they have to offer and I thought what better way to do that than to actually do an unboxing myself and see what kind of quality and meat that they actually have. So you might have seen ButcherBox advertised in your um, social media feed or anywhere, maybe even on television, but they are a provider of humanely raised, sourced, and grass-fed meats. This is a mixed box, so it has beef, chicken, and pork in it. They have all sorts of plans. You can uh, do a subscription, you can do a one-off purchase, give them a try. They have a lot of great offers, and I'm going to go over one with you today. Okay, I just wanted to show you real quick and then I'm gonna pull the box away because it's really cumbersome and it takes up too much room. Um, this is gonna come to you, this came with dry ice inside, but also it came with this little protector thing and then it came with this, it goes on top. So it's basically like cardboard cooler. Um, all these things are recyclable and you can put them in your compost bin. Um, even this little divider thingy, it has that it's made from that recycled paper. You mm -hmm. can even see that it's recycled paper. So that's really cool. And I know a lot of people always have a lot of concerns about sustainability issues and how recyclable packaging is when you get one of these subscription boxes. Um, these are basically hollow cardboard boxes because that's gonna be an insulator. Mm -hmm. And I think that's pretty nifty. Nice. Oh, see, solid. it's... It's got this yeah. this like shredded cardboard yeah. or extruded cardboard. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to show you how it comes. So this was shipped two days ago and it arrived on my doorstep today. There is no dry ice left in it, but the plastic bags the dry ice came in, which are very thin plastic and recyclable, are um, just waiting to be dealt with. So I'm gonna pull this off and you can see how well the meat is still frozen solid, even though this has been sitting on my kitchen counter uh, for a couple of hours while we got ready to do something else. I've gone ahead and I've unloaded the box just so I could lay it all out for you guys so you can see. Um, this, as I said, is the mixed box, so it's beef, chicken, and pork. You also have your choice if you decide to go ahead and give this a try. You can get a box that is um, a mixed beef, chicken, and pork. You can get one that's beef and chicken. You can get one that's beef and pork. You can get one that's all beef. I think you can, I think there's another one. I'll have to look. But you can find all this information out. There's a link down below in the description box and uh, you can give us a try out for yourself. This mixed box comes with four really beautiful pork loin chops, three, I think these are sold by the pound and I'm not so sure, I think there's six it comes with three pounds of chicken, and I can't tell if this is two pieces. I think it is one. It might be two. I really can't tell, but they're very big. And when I uh, when I prepare chicken breasts at home, I usually slice them or butterfly them out so that they're smaller and more easy to deal with, like for grilling or pan searing. Um, this is one meal of pork chops. These are beautiful pork loin chops, and I can't wait to throw these on the grill, let me tell you, with some mojo uh, marinade, yum. Two full pounds of grass-fed ground beef. You're gonna get four six-ounce sirloin steaks. These are beautiful, they look like little fillets, but they're sirloins. And two strip steaks, um, which are also equally as beautiful. This actually is one meal for the four of us because the way we grill meat and then I slice it, and then you have lots of sides, like, uh, oven roasted asparagus, sauteed mushrooms, maybe you have some rice pilaf or a half of a baked potato or sweet potato, go along with that. It just depends on the night. A lot of times I don't even make starchy sides anymore, just protein and veggies and we're all happy. Um, this is definitely one meal for the four of us. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven meals of meat, so, because this, is um, at least two meals, depending on what we make. If we use both of these pounds of ground beef for spaghetti or chili, this could very well end up being three full meals for dinner mm. or two dinners and a couple of lunches. It just depends. And then a pound of bacon, which is not a meal, but it's life, so. <laughs> it's medicine. It's bacon is life. Uh, 
So, and then the one thing I did want to also point out is this bacon is applewood smoked and uncured, and it says that it contains no sugar and is Whole30 approved. So if you guys are on keto or Whole30, or if you are on a low sugar plan, then that is really great bacon and a good option. All of this stuff is, all of these meats are sourced by family farmers, and they have been committed to sustainable and humane butchering practices, as well as the beef is grass-fed, the chicken has no antibiotics. Butcher Box has really got this down pat, and I'm really kind of impressed with the whole kind of basis of the company. It was kind of born out of someone's brilliant ideas upon seeing cow share set upon their kitchen table and going, you know, I bet there are a lot of people in this country that do not have access to fresh, you know, people sometimes don't have access in their area to buying like a side of beef or a whole cow to buy like a quarter or a half of a cow because you have to go in on and do what they call it a cow share, I believe. This is a way for you to have really good quality meat. It's 100% grass fed and grass finished. It's pasture raised. These meats have a really great source of omega-3s, vitamins, and minerals. The pork is Berkshire, Chester, White, heritage breed, and um, they have a really great ancestry. So if you're not familiar with heritage pigs, they are really lean, they're well raised, they're fed extremely well, and they are an old world pig, which means they have uh, genetics that slow their maturation process and they develop super fine marbling which is really important because it keeps the meat moist and it gives you a really intense flavor. These pigs are raised um, with bedding in open barns. They have access to the outdoors and this their, their diet is extremely nutritious. They're able to forage which pigs naturally would do that anyway and they have an all vegetarian feed. Their chicken has also access with specialized enhancements to the outdoors. They have a nutritious diet. They're able to forage or hunt and peck like chickens do because that's what chickens do and there's they are fed a certified organic all vegetarian feed they are non-gmo project certified humane butchering standards across the board and they deal with that by having all of their farms certified under their own specific set of requirements i think it's just really important today especially you can walk in any big box store that you want to and whatever your wallet is going to allow you to buy look i've been there i get that um, but I kind of did a price comparison. When I buy uh, meat locally, you know, you're paying $1.99 to $2.99 for chicken breasts. You're paying a lot. Beef is not cheap anymore. So you're paying um, maybe three, four dollars a pound for good ground beef. And I do have access to grass-fed ground beef in my big box store. I live in one of the largest pork producing states in the, in the nation. In my area is generally very, very reasonable. It's raised and produced by corporate farms, which are not always mm -hmm. concerned with humane practices, humane butchering, and um, they also have a tendency to release a lot of waste into the local water table. ButcherBox strives for excellence in every area, and that includes working with the best possible meat processing facilities. They work with companies and farmers that are dedicated to doing the right thing. They never cut corners, and they are always looking for ways to improve. Their partners Operating methods are inspired by Temple Grandin, and if you're not familiar with who she is, she is an amazing woman who made serious inroads in slaughtering and humane raising of uh, all sorts of livestock. She is an amazing woman, and she's a member of the Humane Farm Animal Care Program's Scientific Committee. And just to give you a little uh, kind of an idea, this mixed box, so we've got three, four, five, um, well, we have uh, six, seven. We've got nine pounds of meat. The price for this is $129. If you go on there and choose the mixed box, it's $129. But right now, they have a promotion where you can get free ground beef for life, which means you get two free pounds of ground beef every time you order. Every If you order every month, then you get free ground beef every month. If you uh, order every two months, you're gonna get two pounds of ground beef every time you order. Now, you also are gonna get a free pound of bacon and if you're ordering for the first time, you're gonna get $20 off your first order. And that's gonna bring your price down to $109. You're gonna get free shipping and there may be tax, but that depends on where you live and your locality and all of that. So we're gonna say $110 
for approximately 10 pounds of meat, that's actually not true because you're going to get an additional two pounds of ground beef. So uh, 11 pounds of ground beef, 11 pounds of meat total, plus an extra pound of bacon. That's going to be 12 pounds of ground beef. So you're talking approximately uh, $9 a pound for good meat. Yes, you could probably get that in your grocery store, but you're not guaranteed that it's locally raised. You're not guaranteed that it is GMO project certified. You're not guaranteed that it's grass fed. And we all have to make those choices for ourselves. Look, I am totally understanding. Not everybody can afford to do this. This is something that you have to make a personal choice. But I'm just saying, if you look at the price and you, you gasp because you think it's too expensive, it really isn't. You have to think about how much money you spend every month. When I do a big grocery shopping trip, meat is the majority of my cost. And we buy good, wholesome food. Food is not cheap. It is going to be one of the main things you spend money on in your life. Food, shelter, transportation, all that good stuff. And when I say shelter, I mean your utilities and all of that business. I think is definitely competitively priced. And I will be using these meats in upcoming videos. I will be sure and mention to you when I use them so that when we taste them, we can make sure and mention that and we can show you what it looks like and the quality that we get. But I have really no doubts that this is going to be superior quality meat. So that is our little unboxing for Butcher Box. I would like to thank them for sending me this box. So if you are interested in looking into getting Butcher Box for yourself and giving it a try, I'm going to leave a link down below where you're going to have an offer this month until the 30th of September where you're going to be able to get free ground beef for life, two pounds every month that you order, $20 off your first order. They're also offering free bacon. So I mean, who's going to turn down free bacon, I ask you? Not me. <laughs> no, honey, not you. Uh, so I'm going to leave all the information a link down below. Uh, no pressure whatsoever. This is just me sharing with you and then reporting back when we cook all this up in different videos so that you can see for yourself if this is a value, how great it's going to taste, and if you want to put this in your freezer to feed your family. So I hope you enjoyed seeing today's video and seeing this unboxing for Butcher Box. I hope that if it's something that will fit into your lifestyle, that you will give it a try. And if you do, I hope that you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.